Hey everybody, it's Monday, February 5th. Uh, we went shopping this weekend. Sorry I haven't made a lot of content. Uh, after buying the clothing deal and being in Pennsylvania for almost two months and with everything that went on with my family, I kind of stepped back and we really focused on uh, doing a lot of whatnot and just literally getting that warehouse of inventory moved. So we have a tractor trailer of it down here, down South Carolina, and then we have two tractor trailer loads worth in Pennsylvania that Pam is working on. We're still going to be doing a lot of whatnot. Um, I have to pay off the $100,000 I spent on that deal, which is mind-blowing for most people. Um, we're, we're doing very well. Um, it has been interesting. It's fun. It's, you know, it's monotonous. We sell a lot of stuff. Um, don't get disheartened. You know, that's just my big come up from this is it's a lot of debt, so it creates a lot of stress. But... You know, you look at the numbers after one month, and we're going to put out a video showing this, that we did $35,000 in sales in January alone, just on whatnot. Not counting my, any of my eBay, not counting any of my YouTube. Thirty five grand that we put into our account after fees. So that's a pretty huge amount of selling, doing two uh, two two-hour auctions a day sometimes. Sometimes if Pam wasn't in or the weather's bad, then we only did one. But that's a part-time job that's four hours a day five days a week 20 hours maybe an hour and a half a day of packing and shipping so it's very possible for everybody to make a full-time living um, we're only selling stuff at about 35 to 40 percent of ebay prices on whatnot but we're selling it in 30 seconds so instead of getting 150 dollars for a pair of pants we're getting 50 or 60 but we're doing it in 30 seconds and we're selling a lot of them okay so as to today's video, I wanted to show you guys what we picked up over the weekend. Uh, I haven't done a, you know, fine video in a while, so I figured you guys might enjoy it. Um, I did diet last month. I had no bread, no sugar at all, so no sweet tea, no uh, soda. I had one glass of milk and then realized it had sugar in it, so that was my only uh, snafu. We lost about 10 pounds. Um, changed my cholesterol level by, like... 14 points and then my LDLs went down by like 25 points. So very good uh, We're gonna try to do that again this month, but with a little bit of treats here and there I can't do the whole Pure carnivore for another full month. Okay, let's see what we got Okay, now that I'm done rambling I have this box which we're gonna show you I bought uh, a buddy of mine is down in Florida went to an estate sale they had a the, the father-in-law collected Disney pins, so I had him buy the entire uh, collection from the father-in-law, so I got like 600 pins there inside that box there. And then this is what we bought between Saturday and Sunday right here. So I am going to get this stuff out for you and lay it out, and then I will revisit. Um, this is actually from a thrift store. You guys will see a... A, a quick short about this. This is an original 1880. He is missing an eye. It is a mechanical turnhead owl bank. Um, you can see I bought this at Habitat for Humanity. I paid $20. I went outside, made a phone call to a friend of mine who collects and buys vintage toys and mechanical toys. Sent him four pictures and sold it to him for $225 within five minutes after I bought it. So, really, really good you know, thing to do, always keep an eye out, check, you know, the unexpected places to find stuff. I'm going to lay all this out on the table and then we'll go over what we picked up. Okay, so you can, just a second. Okay, so now I got everything kind of out onto the table, at least what I could fit onto the table. And I can show you guys a little brief thing of what we bought. I did buy some stuff for Pam that I don't normally buy, like you know, I probably would have bought these, but I know Pam collects them, so since she works for me, Ray and Dunn mugs, and I know she sells them to you guys, some of them, if she's got duplicates. Um, I happened to be on the phone with her when I walked by a booth that had these, so they gave me a pretty good deal. I bought quite a bit of stuff from that lady before, so she had all these little cups, little hip-hop egg cups. Jelly, uh, jelly beans, bunny kisses, hip. This one says bridesmaid, be mine, peeps, uh, hop to it. That's all yoke. Uh, different color interiors. It's already done. I picked up this cool vintage skateboard by Kryptonics. 
I bought a table lot of vintage Fiesta. So this is the vintage Fiesta, and there's another brand in here as well. Like I think it's Lou Ray or something like that, but there's a big yellow platter. You can still see they found it in a barn. Like there's dirt and stuff on this stuff. Um, set of four of those cups with the round finger rings. You know, it's just a nice mix. These were actually in the box, and I can't say I've ever seen these with metal handles. They're the, they're the colors of Fiesta, but I don't think they are Fiesta. If anybody knows what those are, let me know. I picked up these, I think, a, a, Apology, or a, what the heck's the name of it? Anthrology. These are like a dyed stone posters with gold around the outside. I picked up this piece of art glass with glitter. I picked up this really old bow uh, with original bone uh, pieces on it. Some Fitz and Floyd, that's a sugar shaker, and a salt and pepper, and a little tray. Two of the 1996 Olympics Keystone pieces. It's really old doll hand muff. This is really awesome. I picked this up. You know, obviously a risque girl, but this is done in like a slag glass. You can see I paid five bucks. It's really neat. This is a piece of Hall Nautilus. I don't see it too often, um, so very cool. Again, more pinup girl cups, pinup girls over a barrel, salt and pepper shakers, three vintage Zippo lighters. Those are really nice. This I picked up I thought was really cool, the Reese bicycles, but it's got either a picture of a bicycle or a motorcycle. Looks more like a motorcycle. Lock. This old corkscrew done with a piece of burl. I got three pair of shoes. Uh, two of these are going to go to Pam. These happen to be at the booth. Obviously, she has koi fish, and these are her size, size 7. So there's two Ed Hardy pair. One has skulls, and then the other has fish and mermaids. Very, very cool. I did buy myself uh, two pair of Nike sneakers. Those will be obviously for resale. I got this really awesome Apothecary jar um it's green like an olive green with painted decoration obviously i showed you guys this owl earlier i paid 20 bucks at habitat for humanity i sold it for 225 within oh five to eight minutes after i bought it uh, to a guy i know i picked up this mr peanuts planner's peanut jar it is the wrong lid on it the lid does not fit properly on it so it is the wrong lid and I believe the jar itself is a reproduction but it's okay it's very cool so I bought it I got these two giant pottery bowls they are marked on the bottom right here you can kind of see it it's upside down but hard for me to move it around while I'm holding the camera there you go I a Pudo pottery I don't know what that says. And the other one is actually marked a little bit better, I think. Don't try this at home. There you go. Showing Glean Quinn, maybe Quinn Pottery. I don't know. If somebody out there knows, please put in the comments if you know anything. But I thought they were really pretty. So bought those to bring to auction. So everything you see here is going to be brought to auction. Um, the shoes and the Ray Dunn are Pam's. Everything else will be for sale. Oh, I forgot to show you guys these. So I did buy a whole box of U.S. Air from an employee. So there's pens, there's playing cards, there's a, a crystal box, um, retirement paperwork, all kinds of stuff. So I know some of you guys know the higher end sunglasses and stuff i missed out on he had some really nice purses that some lady that i know buys it's like real high in purses was buying all the purses and i happened to grab the glasses so vita dini i don't know vita dini these are in the saint john's thing here we go let's see adrian vita dini So, obviously, those probably don't go in that case. But, let me 
me see. It's in this case. The right, my glasses might just be in the wrong case. These are really cool. And I know sometimes glasses can be real good, and these just had a good look, and there was a couple that I knew names. Um, these have some numbers. And this side just says plus 200, so these are probably prescription. So not super exciting there, except for the frame is pretty cool. But I knew this name, Christian Dior. Very, very hard to do this one handy. These are awesome. These remind me very much of like Elizabeth Taylor CD for Christian Dior. That's on both sides. And they are marked as well. It is not wanting to focus for me. Sorry. Come on, focus. Well, they say Christian Dior. <laughs> Sorry, wasn't focusing. I don't want to spend too much time trying to show those to you. Because we still have to unbox the pin collection. So this was a vintage Fendi. And the glasses are very cool. The lady liked that style, apparently. Here's your F Fendi. I'm trying to figure out why it's not focusing for us. Oh, there we go. Are we getting it to focus, people? There we go. Jeez. Like work. And then there was, I think this is just an empty case. But, so I got, what, four pair of glasses. And all this other cool stuff. I did buy... A little bit of clothing. These are actually, I think I have these in my Y2K stuff as well, but these are FUBU Fat Albert shirts. I picked up this really awesome vintage cool color block Kodak jacket, which was very, very neat. Vintage Kodak. That was cool. And this champion jersey and the old champion tag. Very, very neat. And then this group of clothing here is all from a boat, like a military. So USS Rents, Dreadnought, FFG 46. These are vintage. Like you can see this is probably 60s or 70s. It might even be a little older. So this is a whole bunch of clothing from that ship. Okay, guys. Now we're going to take and we will go to that box over there. Okay, before we go over there, I forgot. I did buy a bunch of plastic vintage 1940s and 50s toys uh, like Renwall, Pyro, Banner. There's even one really nice Matchbox car in here, um, right here. A really nice Matchbox. Oscar lamps, very cool. So a whole box of vintage 1940s and 50s plastic toys and cars. Now I'll show you the other box. Okay, just opened it. Very cool. This is a display board for the Disney Remix um, Toy Story Alien Pins. Pretty awesome. Let me clear off this bubble and then we'll I'll show you guys. Okay, so I cleared off the top layer. I won't be I won't actually go through all these in the video. Um, I will tell you guys that I did see some pictures of this group. There is close to 600 pieces. Um, there's a lot of limited edition pieces and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of men on card and stuff. I did find several that sell for a lot, um, like in the hundreds, kind of mixed in the pictures. Obviously, I wanted to get them in hand first, but we'll see. Um, there was some that, like, you know, here, for example, you see these gold ones right here? 
I could not find an actual complete example. This turns into the Gold Castle. And then there's also one from the El Capitan uh, right here. And there is a full set of those. It's like six or eight pins make the full set. I had not was not able to find any full sold comps at all for those. Those were from specific festivals and events. Um, I mean, like I said, there's like 600 plus pins. There is just, it's an incredible lot. So I'm not sure if we're going to do these on whatnot or if we're going to do them on YouTube, but obviously YouTube is getting the first look at them. So comment if you guys see something that is super exciting. There's like the espresso ones. Um, I had a lady contact me uh, asking me if I ever get Disney pins and she said I'm a barista and I'm looking for the espresso ones. So I just started looking up the espresso ones whenever I saw them in this collection and the ones like 80 to 100 bucks. So that board I showed you guys right off the beginning, this is the full set that goes on that board. For those. And I think that is it. Yeah. So it is a incredible lot of Disney pins. Really excited about that. Uh, we'll do another preview on that by itself in, a, in an upcoming, uh, upcoming video. So guys, I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed what we picked up. Please come if there is stuff out of this lot that you guys are interested in. Um, if you want to see it on whatnot, if you want to see it on YouTube, let me know. Uh, we have so much stuff to sell and just not enough space or time to do it. But, you know, buying's the fun part, so I still keep doing it. <laughs> uh, okay, guys, I appreciate everybody. Again, we're going to be playing with this Disney stuff for a little while. And I got to clean up all of the mess I just made to show you guys all this because I need this table because we fill this table with our sold whatnots. Okay, appreciate everybody and hope you guys had a great weekend. Comment below if there's stuff you saw that you're interested in. Oh, sorry. And if you want it on YouTube or if you want it on whatnot. Okay, thanks guys. Mr. Bizelet, signing off.